Hey guys, what is up? It is Kazuka here, and we are back with another episode of South Park The Stick of Truth. Um <laughs> Last episode I don't I I I I have no words. I have no words. It was like I got nothing. I, I can't even describe it. It was one massive fuck fest. <laughs> there was uh, just tons of shit just boom boom boom. You know, there was fucking Christ, what was it? The underpants gnomes? Then it was <laughs> watching my never... parents oh, okay. go at it, shut up, brothers. Then it was fucking um what was it? Fucking Nazi zombie fetuses? Fuck's sake man. But anyway, so what else we get? Uh, abilities, that's it. But yeah, that's it's just fucked it up. Some weirdo hanging out at the public storage. I'm not going back there. Weirdo, public storage. It again. I didn't do nothing. Right. Um. Oh, I know. I just thought how to get that bag. Thank you. Yep. That did nothing for me. <laughs> the coast and... want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right then, let's go. You know the drill. Wait a minute. I, oh shit! I ain't changed out my costume. Uh. God damn it. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, yes. the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Oh, Whoever sake. this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise oh. we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! Sunshine! Ugh. <laughs> Okay, first things first, let's change out my shit. Okay. Talk to the boys. Some mornings I wake up with a sore asshole. I must be sleeping on it funny. Okay. Maybe go to the doctors. <laughs> What's this? Council, gather round. This must be something the new kid needs our help with. Sank fams on sabi unan What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Kingdom to the, the north. Kingdom to the north. Whatever's written on these documents Canada. is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. <laughs> to breach the kingdom to the north, you will have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. Okay. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. Got it. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Also got it. Now we're going fast travel. I can get one from the photo place. Hello. Hi, photo. here to get your passport photo taken? Just oh. head into the room there and we'll get started. Okay, okay. Step between the lights, please. Okay. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Okay. Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. No. Nope, with this light, we're just gonna need you to lose that shirt. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants? Oh, no, he's you not fucking... Take, take the pants off, too. No. Those pants just aren't working for me. I don't give a fuck. No! If you want a passport, you're gonna have to lose the pants, pal. Fine. Okay, that's good. Really nice. Yes, very nice. 
How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! I You'll never knew take it. me alive! Is that where you son of a bitch? Oh boy, bad guys! I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, fucking pedophile. There you go. Uh, eat that dick out. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, uh, I should have stomped on me with my fucking head. Let's go. Hammer of justice. Got the hammer of butters. How's your hair, Ken? Tell my wife. Well, I'm sorry. I wasn't that into her. Clearly. I hope you didn't hurt you too bad. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. Yeah, All right, let's get this over with. Out. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Where did you put that? I thought he was the pedophile. Can I get my clothes back? Thank you. Dick. Don't ever do that again. You twat bag. Ah! Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Not very good fight to yourself, are you? Like that. No, uh, see? No matter which way you go, I block you. What, do you think we just let anybody into Canada? No, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. <laughs> ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Yay. Open the gate. Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. Yeah, you kind of overhyped that. There we go. Thank you. Welcome to Canada. Canada. <laughs> A frozen wasteland. <laughs> wasteland? What the fuck is that? Oh wow. Ottawa. Yes, Canada. It's the frozen desert wasteland. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Oh wow. My friend Nantuk and I. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm getting at, it's uh, one of Jim Carrey's. Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Come back soon. Come back soon. <laughs> um. So yeah, Jim Carrey. He did a Welcome stand up. Welcome to the Clinic. Are you here for an HIV test? I can heal you for five Canadian dollars. Come back whenever you need healing or another HIV test. Okay. But yeah, and he did a little bit of stand up, and uh, that just reminded me of it. That's all. Oh, hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Hail! Yay! <laughs> well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. Really? I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? Wow. What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. Really? I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl uh, of Winnipeg. <laughs> he can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I love this game, it's fucking hilarious. Wait. What kind Hold of it right there. Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two eight by tens or six five by sevens? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Well, I, I would have picked the five by sevens. Okay. For fuck's sake, I hit first, bitch. I'm better than the No, 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 no. Oh god damn it, Buzz. Okay, so I need to revive you. 
Literally, when you get revived, you're full health, dickhead. So you best heal me when it's my turn. But for now, I will stomp these fuckers. Okay, you heal me. I got your back, yo! Now go ham on them, butters. Feel my righteous fury! Nice. You get your best shot, and that's all Jesus asks of you. Yes. And yeah. Ah, I got you first, bitch. Ah, uh, hamburgers. Uh, incredible stomp. Feel my righteous fury. Whoopee! Nice. Nice. The Gazooka and Butters combo. <laughs> I took a while to say just Welcome that. Welcome to Winnipeg. There. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Okay. Don't worry. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what. Kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll oh, help you however I can. Hello. Oh, okay. I was going to say, let me guess. Oh, what happened to him? Eh, he's fine. Oh, God. Wait, what, where did he say? A new friend! Yay! You're gay. You're gay. <laughs> oh, wait. Die a bastard. Silly, what this is. Yeah. If that's a Canadian greeting, I'm never going to Canada. <laughs> Sorry, Canada. But you get you furry ass bitches. Butters. Roast them. Feel my righteous fury! You'll get it your best shot, and that's all Jesus asks of you. Nice. Wait, I got kill three? Oh, god damn it. Oh, I did it. Oh, okay, never mind then. I just noticed that. By Jove, you've done it! Look <laughs> at all these diabare pelts! Now I can finally make a diarobe! Alright, give me that document! For fuck's sake. Mm, yes. This mm, is actually yes. written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec! I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. You really oh, play me about like this? I will this. have the most dire robe in all of really? Canada. I'll slice your bastard dire robe. <laughs> I'll rip that shit up. <laughs> Wait, 
right there I've got to go. Vancouver all. Shit. That one. God damn it. This is just one of those shitty back and forth sort of things, isn't it? Where you go here and then back and then again. And then go, uh, very good explanation, Gary. Well done. <laughs> The prince seems agitated lately. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. <laughs> Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the Bishop of Banff for me, and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! What is this fucking red? This used to be a general... Yeah, that, that. <laughs> this used to be a genitals game. <laughs> oh no, dire bears. Oh no, dire snake. Oh no, die wall. Bitch. Yeah, I hope you guys don't get angry and that I have to smite you. That's how it's done, bitches. What is Feel that righteous fury! I know Valance doesn't solve anything, kind of but I kind of like it. was that for a snake? Anyway. Carry on. Come on. What are you talking about? Oh wait, hang on. These are shops. I keep forgetting that. They might have something good. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Well, well say, won't we? No. I'll wait 20% against Snapsies and deal 50% more damage when below 25. Nah. Bishop first. Um. No. Might check back at the other places in a minute. I'll cut that bit out, of course. How are we getting here? God damn it. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? <laughs> Assassin! No, my name is Ezio. Ezio Altore. Bitch. Oh shit, he's immune to being stunned. Well, fuck. <laughs> Do it, brothers. Kick his ass. Let's see how you like dealing with me. <laughs> Emerald Chaos. What the fuck? All rush. Who move, move, bitch? He knows not what he does. I hit. Oh my god. Yeah, you need this. By the hammer of letters. Well, I'm sorry. Can't give a damn if he's immune. I'm still gonna hit him. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious right now? <laughs> Alright, bull rush anyway. I didn't even hit anything. I didn't even say that I missed. This game is rigged, man. It's fucking rigged. Because he's a fucking bishop, that's why. Right. 
try again. Oh shit. There you go. Little bitch. Why the hell didn't I just use that? Well, you're good at adventuring. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, you don't have to kill me. Okay, I'll yeah, go whoa, away whoa. and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Okay. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. <laughs> Poor dire pig. Praise Christ. Praise God. Praise God and Christ. How do we get in there? Oh, these are indeed troubling times. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's balls. Now religion won't interfere with government. How can <laughs> we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my oh, age, I'm gonna we kill need a him. promise. Shh, you. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Fuck's Only sake. they could train you in such sorcery. Nice. Oh, cool. Over here. Oh my god, it's Terrence and Philip. <laughs> Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> knows dragon shout. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he farted into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. <laughs> He can cup a spell! If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fast? <laughs> the sneaky squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yay. Yes! Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Oh, it's like the Matrix. Your magic is impressive, young American. Definitely like the Matrix. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, <laughs> you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! I will. That's it! Now let us see how Nagasaki works in battle! <laughs> These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move! Nagasaki! Fucking pedophiles in this episode, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> That's it! You have the power! You did it! 
Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind. Okay. And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. No, I won't. Aha, uh -huh, I got out first. Dip. Wait, wait, wait. C'est la est mauvais. Allo? A secours! Such incredible magic Hello? so easily. A secour! That was stinky. <laughs> Gee whiz, whistle bitches! <laughs> Damn. Right, Buzz. Feel my righteous fury. We did it. Ready to go back? The yep. girls are ready to see you. Sweet. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking horror! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! Women. You served us well, Nick. <laughs> so you have our services. Just, Tell the boys uh, we will play their uh, game. Sparkle! Sunshine! Fuck okay. off. I look so freaking badass now. Right, well, anyway. Right, guys, that's all I have time for this episode. Look at me when I talk to you. That's all I have time for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a great time at Christmas. I hope you're eating as much as you can. Yeah, get them gains. Um, yeah, and if it isn't Christmas and it's New Year, Happy New Year to you. Um, but yeah, as for that, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.